Hello, welcome to our G pipe gas pipeline hydraulics a short tutorial. G pipe is a scaled down version of our more powerful model called gas mod. G pipe can be used to model short pipelines up to 200 data points or pipe nodes with the maximum of 10 compressor stations. It will not handle branches or pipe loops but it calculates the compressor power required, pressures and temperatures in a long gas transmission pipeline. So we have six easy steps to get started. Choose the units of calculations first from the option menu. You create a new pipe data file by choosing File New and enter the pipe data and save the data with a suitable name. Third, set up the global data under Options, Global Parameters. Next, define the compressor stations under the Station menu. And then enter the gas flow rates along the pipeline by choosing the Gas Flow menu on top. Finally, you can start calculations by choosing Go from the Run menu or directly pressing the calculator icon. Let's look at some of these items here on the menu bar. This is for a new file. Open an existing file. Save a pipe data file. Print. Cut. Copy. Paste. And we have a new menu item here which was just introduced in version 6 of gpipe. It's um, called graphic model and um, this allows you to graphically build the pipeline model which we'll discuss shortly. This is a menu item for branches and loops which is not included in gpipe at the present time. It's available in gas mod. Q is a quick pressure drop calculation routine where you can calculate the pressures and flow rates in a short segment of pipe very quickly. The dollar sign refers to capital and operating costs, which again is not included in G-Pipe, but it's available in gas mod. The calculator icon is to start the simulations or calculations. This is a view output report icon. This is graphics. Again, this is hydraulic rating, which is not included in this version. It's available in gas mod. You can launch Notepad from here and um, send an email using your email client. Maybe you want to attach the results of calculations to an associate. Exit the program and here's the help screen. So if you go to the help screen, it gives you kind of a summary of the program, its features, all these different things if you don't have the manual handy. So now let's see how we simulate a pipeline. Let's look at the graphic option. This will launch Pipe Graph, which is a graphic pipeline modeling portion of the GPipe program. Using Pipe Graph, you can build the pipeline model by choosing objects such as pipe segments, compressor stations and valves from a toolbox and dropping them onto a drawing area or a canvas. And then you can input the properties of each of these components by double clicking on each object and entering the data pertaining to that object. Many features of PipeGraph do not apply directly to GPipe as PipeGraph is mainly designed to work with GasMod. 